in Los Angeles, this Tiraj, did the most fantastic job of restoring this film. And uh, you noticed on the titles it said it was done frame by frame. Uh, they could not use the automatic uh, cleanup, and so they had a team of 40 people in India uh, cleaning up frame by frame, and then all of the all of the color work was done in Los Angeles. And uh, as they were working, uh, it was I went up there several times to see what they were doing, and I just couldn't believe how beautiful. I've seen, I don't know, how many times have we seen this film, Jack? I've seen it lots of times earlier, but not so isolated. <laughs> but uh, seeing it again tonight, it's as if I've seen it for the first time. I yeah. Well, you know, the, the, the thing that struck me when I uh, was watching it is the coherence of what you created. Um, but when I read about the process, it didn't seem anything like it's coherent. Is that a fair summary? <laughs> well, in a way, but people don't understand. I mean, the animation film doesn't come together one after the other scenes. It comes together as you get certain amounts of artwork done. So the storyboard, in each case, I've jumped. Bob was doing one part, and I was doing another part. We didn't know necessarily what each other was doing, but we knew how it was going to join together at some point. Yeah, at some point. You, you'd worked on, on a previous um, set of cartoons on The Beatles. Um, it, and um, those weren't shown in this country, um, but they were yeah, shown in America. Um, wasn't the temptation just to do the same, uh, just to use the cartoons as? <laughs> that was well, the people who didn't like the voices for the start of the series. Um, Paul, I know, didn't like the designs very much. Called them bobheads, which is probably quite true. Actually, <laughs> and we didn't. George Dunning and Charlie Jenkins got in touch with I'd sat them on the 20 magazine in Germany. I wasn't sure who it was at the time, but I saw soon enough to see the design. And um, you got the idea, didn't you, for the sort of theme of it from listening to Sergeant Pepper for the first time? Well, no, not really. Nothing. <laughs> 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 Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> and of course, you got uh, you had some of, of the amazing sort of score, which uh, George oh, yeah. Martin, who's yeah. here today, yeah. uh, did, uh, yeah. did uh, which we which he liked to, to uh, have him here. Um, he George, worked on George took me to the zoo once. <laughs> 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 and George did an incredible job on the oh, did. supplemental music because he had nothing to work. With. I mean, we do a story piece of the storyboard, and maybe there'd be a little bit of a timing, and he'd have that information, you know, George, just do something, you know. And so when I look at this, and when I, the original uh, uh, disc that came out in 33 and a third, and one side has all of George's uh, supplementary music, and I think that is so rich and so, so beautiful. That really, the Beatle music, of course, is, Classic, great, but I think the contribution that George Martin did to the, for the film is, is uh, outstanding. Uh, voice of a man uh, from a man who wasn't originally an actor, who found him in a pub. Yeah, well, uh, we, we were stuck with one voice and George's voice because we got the other three. So we used to go to the Dog and Duck pub, so uh, the animation. <laughs> If we weren't there, uh, Steve, we were on other things. So, <laughs> uh, but uh, I think it was one of the girls who was down in, in the Dog and Duck and heard this voice. And she she answered me, I went, I heard it, and I thought, well, that's, that sounds, that sounds like a bloody tool. It is true, you know. And um, she kicked on him, and we got him to come up and do the test. And we used it. Anything was, it turned out to be an army deserter. <laughs> <laughs> and we were halfway through the uh, recording, and of course we had to find that voice. Luckily, you got arrested. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we finished up. Paul Andrews had to take over. He did a fantastic job, also. He did amazing kind of job. Well, see, even though I knew this story, I couldn't tell one. Yeah. I mean, I knew, I knew the story, and I couldn't tell it. So look, we've got a chance just for um, one or two people to chip in with some questions. Um, so uh, there's a roving microphone coming down. Who would like to take the opportunity to ask uh, a question of our panel? This one here. The thing was, we didn't think Beatles music was Disney music. <laughs> not, not one day my friends will come. <laughs> right, who, would, who else would like to uh, ask a question as well? Who would like <coughs> I was thinking, 
not just of what one <coughs> gained in animation technique, but actually what we've lost, because some of the you know original hand work was so exquisite. Uh, so um, you know, I think it was it was it's very interesting to see the gulf that exists between that piece of work and modern piece of work, and I don't think necessarily always the modern piece of work gained from that. We've got probably time for one more question. It's there. Were there any songs you wanted to put in, but you couldn't put in? Like, any, songs, any songs that you would like to have put in, but you couldn't put in? Uh, you know, we had complete freedom of the Beatle Library, yeah. except for the, the contract, which I required that the Beatles had put new, four new, new songs into the film. And so th there wasn't a question of something we'd want to put in that we didn't put in. We just, as, as the thing developed, uh, we said, oh, we'll use that song, or we'll use that song. Uh, there were certain songs we knew we were going to use, like Nowhere Man, and When You're 64, and Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. I mean, there, 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 were, there were a bunch of things that, uh, uh, that just were, we could start working on, and something was going to happen with them, some, some image. And any image was better than no image. So we're, we're going to leave it there. We just want to say thank you very much for giving us the opportunity to talk to you.